Hey guys, welcome to yet another interesting video based on data mining. So in today's video, we'll be seeing uh, what is data cleaning as a process in data mining. So we had these steps uh, involved in the KDD activity that is data cleaning, integration, transformation, reduction. And so we'll be seeing a detailed overview of what is data cleaning, especially in data mining. So let's get started. So first of all, in data cleaning, uh, like you know, in that KDD diagram, you had one kind of uh, data set, then you clean it with the scrubber to remove all the noise and outliers in that. So our main concern in data cleaning would be that is missing values and noisy data. So there are two categories in uh, data cleaning. First, we handle the missing values and then we try to reduce the noisy data. We cannot completely eliminate the noise in any form in real world. Also, we try to eliminate it as low as possible so in this video we'll be seeing those two techniques or what are involved in uh, handling missing values as well as in noisy data so first we go to the lhs that is the missing values in missing values to handle the missing values we have this six different steps or techniques so uh, the very first uh, says that ignoring the tuple now uh, in this uh, what you have to do simply you have to ignore the tuple now when the class label is missing what you do uh, you, you ignore the tuple now uh, this may be in a case that a uh, tuple may be there or a data set may be there uh, in that you have one column uh, say for example the unique id or some uh, kind of uh, primary key is there uh, but in that you don't have specific values fed so what you do you just remove that or you ignore that but that is not a valid or effective way for a particular data set or you may miss the kind of important or valuable information in that so this technique is uh, an ineffective method so for this we try to uh, completely eliminate or remove this next we have the fill the missing values uh, manually so this is like to some extent we can fill the missing values like if you have a 50 or 100 data set you can do it but then if you have uh, 1000 or even 1 lakh or more than that in real time it's up to uh, it's even more than that level so you cannot manually sit and uh, just fill those values so it's like a kind of tedious and it's practically infeasible for uh, large data set and it's time consuming uh, next we have to use a global constant to fill the missing values uh, this means like uh, in this case also in ignoring the tuple like for particular column or attributes is there so for that particular cell you don't have one particular value so what you do like if you have a string kind of data in place of uh, like for example say your email address you put the unknown value or like for a numerical measure or measurable quantity uh, with sum or count uh, method you use minus infinity now uh, again this value if uh, unknown is there uh, repeated or it's occurring most frequently in that particular data set then if we go to find our pattern evaluation step in that you need to find your interestingness measure now if you are that data mining system understand that unknown or minus infinity is occurring uh, many times or frequently then what it will conclude that it has found an interestingness measure that unknown or minus infinity is occurring more and so it will just deviate your result from getting the actual one so this is also kind of problem while uh, you fill the missing values or you handle the missing values next what you do you use the attribute mean to fill in the missing values now uh, what is in this is uh, like you have one particular column uh, you have age or you have marks in that so what you do you calculate the mean for that particular attribute or uh, for that particular column and then uh, whichever cells or whichever uh, value attributes are missing in that you just fill it with the mean of that particular attribute like for age if you calculate one particular summation of that age uh, you just uh, replace the mean with that value or uh, like any other attributes is there you just replace the mean of that particular attribute next uh, fifth one is same like the fourth one but use the attribute mean for all the samples belonging to the same class as the given tuple now this is more like the same but you have to calculate the mean in both the cases but here you calculate the mean but you replace that mean value only with the class belonging to the same tuple like same class and same tuple so those two conditions has to be met so it's like more over to a focused approach uh, for handling the missing values Next, you use the most probable value to fill in the missing values. This is like determined by kind of uh, regression or any kind of 
inference based uh, techniques by using inference engine you uh, match the query mining tool or you use any kind of uh, data mining techniques to identify what are the uh, values or probable values to fit in that and then you formulate one kind of equation or then you try to fit one regression curve or anything like that uh, in order to fill in or in order to tackle that missing value so this is mainly done by using Bayesian formalism uh, you write some kind of Bayesian formulas to uh, do that like in particular a big large data set is there so uh, these are the missing values uh, or what are the approaches uh, if you handle the missing values so there are six different approaches next we move on to the noisy data which is the very most uh, crucial thing in handling a data set in real life also we try to eliminate noise as much as possible so uh, in data mining uh, noise is what a kind of uh, variance or an error in a measurable quantity which deviates or uh, which does not allow you to get the actual result so in data mining especially in data cleaning as a process you have uh, this three techniques so i've coded with a uh, short form as rcb r for regression c for clustering and b for binning so we go with the very first one that is binning so uh, from the name binning some kind of bins are there yeah exactly bins are there so what this actually does is it smooths the sorted data by consulting its neighborhood values so neighborhood values one particular data point is there and its neighboring values which is nearest to its distance it calculates it and then it tries to fill it and it is distributed in uh, by means of buckets or bins are there like in real world also we have our dustbin so in dustbin we have dry waste as well as wet waste you don't put your uh, all the waste in one particular bins we have separate bins uh, distributed for that for wet waste and dry waste so in data mining also you have that kind of bins uh, like with particular depths are there depth 3 depth 4 likewise you put your feed your values into that so there are uh, three kinds of smoothing techniques in binning so the very first one is smoothing by bin means smoothing by bin medians smoothing by bin boundaries so these three techniques will be covering in our subsequent videos uh, while solving a problem uh, next we have the regression so regression is nothing but fitting the data into a function you calculate one particular function and you try to fit in that now there are two uh, approaches or two techniques in this first you have linear regression in this so uh, in this what it tries to do is it finds the best line to fit those two attributes and if you have two or more attributes to be fitted in that particular line what you do is you calculate the or you do the multiple linear regression for that so this is for plus two two or more attributes that is fitted into a multi-dimensional surface you have a data cube or an OLAP cube or you have a kind of three dimensional or four dimensional data structure or a multi-dimensional array as well so in that you try to fit your or you put your uh, data for handling the noisy data then you have the final way that is the final method to handle or to uh, eliminate not eliminate completely reduce the clustering you have the clustering method so in clustering what you do is you find the similar values that are organized into groups or clusters now values that fall outside these clusters are said may be considered as a outlier or kind of noise now so what you do in this is like you calculate the boundary so which is which are there which values are there inside the boundary which values are there outside the boundary or which values are there on the boundary so for all those values you calculate this uh, technique or clustering so in clusters you will get those particular data sets or data points which are belonging to that particular cluster so well that's all the two techniques that is handling the missing values and trying to reduce the noisy data to some particular extent in data cleaning as a process in data mining so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you found you got educated by watching this video please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching this video